and the NYPD grieving the loss of one of their own today. 33-year-old officer Brian Mulkeen shot and killed in the Bronx during a struggle with an armed suspect. That tragedy unfolded early this morning on the streets of Edenwald. Today, New York's Ken Booth alive at the scene with the very latest. Ken? And you can see right behind me, this is a very, very, very big investigation going on after this officer was killed in the line of duty. Now, take a look at this photo. This is the officer right here. This is 33-year-old NYPD officer Brian Mulkeen. Again, this man killed in the line of duty overnight. According to police, cops were patrolling the area around the Edenwald houses around 1230 this morning when three cops tried to stop a man and question him. That man then ran off and police gave chase. Investigators say Mulkeen tried to arrest the man, but instead got into a violent struggle with him. While the two were wrestling on the ground, police say Mulkeen's gun went off, hitting the officer three times, but it's not clear who pulled the tri trigger. Police say five officers then began shooting and killed the 27-year-old suspect who has not been named. Mulkeen was taken to the hospital and later died. Now officers are remembering Mulkeen as a hero. Tragedies like this are not only an affront to the men and women in blue, but to all the people our cops proudly serve. And this family needs our support. It's very painful in every way, but to think that their son made this choice and now has given his life, we have to be there for him. He did everything for us. We have to be there for this family. Now, this video shows us dozens of officers outside of Jacoby Medical Center giving a final salute to their slain comrade. Now, take a look. This photo is the revolver found at the scene, believed to be the suspects, the same suspects who police say was on probation for narcotics arrest. Now, more about Mulkeen. He was on the force for about six and a half years. He lived in York, Yorktown Heights. He also had a girlfriend who was a police officer, and he's being remembered today as police investigate this deadly shooting. We're in the Bronx. Ken Bufa, Today in New York.